Good morning. So we are going to start our day. Um, I have I've just gotten a late start to my day. I was a little bit more tired than I um, anticipated. So it is 8.15 and um, normally I'm um, fully dressed or at least where, um, 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 where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and pop my clothes on and show you my outfit of the day. My outfit of the day is going to be a little bit ragtag because, um, one, you know, kind of run out of outfit ideas with what I brought with me. But two, also need to uh, dress appropriately for the weather. It's kind of chilly. I think the high is 66 today here in New York. And then lastly, I need to keep some room in my um, suitcase. So I'm wearing quite a few layers. So it's functional. It's fashionable, maybe it might be fashionable. I'm dreaming this up, so. And um, let me just, just get dressed. Hey guys, as promised, I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. So I am wearing my shades, my Stella McCartney shades. So I'm headed out, it's super sunny out there. Let me show you, it's pouring in. And um, I have on my Things Remember necklace. That's the necklace that I've been wearing all week. Um, I have on a Gap shirt. You guys saw this earlier in the week, the Gap shirt with the gold threading kind of running through it. Over top, I have on this slip dress from um, Shein. Underneath, I'm wearing the high-waisted paper bag pants that I just got from um, Ann Taylor Loft. One reason why is because it's super cold outside. Two is because I needed to make room in my um, suitcase because I'm going to go shopping, so I need to wear a few layers. And then I have on the Fila sneakers that I've been wearing all week. Over top, I am wearing this Levi's jacket that has been customized. I think I shared that with you guys. They do customize your things if you want. I got these buttons customized and um, put my name on it. So that's from Levi's. I also have on this um, pin from Kate Spade that coordinates the whole pink thing loving that wearing one of my favorite watches here so it doesn't really match with anything it's just one of the two watches that actually work um when i've been wearing my fitbit so long the batteries went dead and all of my other 20 30 watches that i own so i have two watches that will serve me right now and i gotta figure that out one thing about these pants does make me look like i have a little bit of a belly but it's all good i ain't out here fishing <laughs> I have on this bracelet that um, uh, one of my coworkers is into knotting, and it is gorgeous. Let me show it to you. Well, it is it is gorgeous. The work, the knotting work is beautiful. So he made this for everybody on the team and even mailed it out to the ones who couldn't make it in person. So I thought that was super sweet of him. And that is it. That's my outfit of the day, and we're going to get into the shopping. Okay. So the first place we're headed is Levi's, and that's because it's right next to my office. So I think I'm going to do Levi's, Macy's, Nordstrom Rack, then 260 sample sale place. Um, I might have to go to Victoria's Secret. I have to get a gift for a friend. Um, but I may be able to do that tomorrow. So I'm not sure. So we'll figure that out. But definitely those four places for sure. And then whatever else in between. Alright, so I have a nice little break in here um, between where I'm headed. I hit up Levi's, Macy's, Nordstrom Rack, and 260 Sample Sale. And um, I am headed to Ansel's, I think it's Ansel's Bakery where they have the cronut. And it's a long walk. I decided I'm going to walk because I've been eating up some stuff and I need to pray and walk. So um, the first place I went to was Levi's. And of course, you know, I mentioned I was looking to get some Felix the Cat stuff. So I got a couple items while I was in there. They were having a sale of um, additional 20% off regular price stuff and uh, additional 30% off sale. So I got a couple items. Um, I wanted to get more, but um, you know, again, I'm flying in luggage spaces. The real, real estate in my luggage is at a premium. So I just picked up a couple things. Um, so not as fruitful as I would have liked. Then I headed over to the infamous uh, Macy's on 34th Street, and it is large. It reminds me a lot of the um, the old Marshall Fields that turned into a Macy's in Chicago. It has a little bit of the old world mixed with higher end. This one's a little bit different in the sense that it has it has designer luxury stuff like your Burberry, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, um, which the other places don't have. 
So that's a little bit different. There was a there was a cool feature in there where they still have a lot of the old wooden, the original old wooden um, escalators in there. I thought that was a nice touch that like that they kept it. The Macy's in Chicago has a little bit of that original touch too, but not like that one is really dope. I like that. Um, upstairs has a really cool um, sort of uh, Christmas on 34th Street. <laughs> it had like a train upstairs, so I took a little bit of footage of that for you. Um, but that was Macy's. There wasn't much. I picked up, I think, one item out of Macy's, and again, and I'll show you that later. So I went to um, Nordstrom Rack, and they're having a sale of additional 40% off clearance. I wasn't sure what the pickings would be in New York. There are a lot of people here, and I was not surprised when there was nothing left. The sale started, I think, I want to say it started yesterday. So I am a whole day, or maybe two days ago, I'm just late on getting what was good and it, it was picked over, especially like the designer stuff was picked over already. So I didn't really make out really well. Um, I got nothing. Even if I wanted something, the line was ridiculous. The line like roped around and around and around for, you know, in my opinion, deals that weren't that, that's great. So I wasn't gonna stand in line. So then I trekked over a little bit to find um, to find the 260 sample sale. I my luck has it I did I didn't come on the right day. So they have two two stores right across the street from each other. One store had all bedding um, stuff, which wasn't interesting to me, of course. And even I mean, it's interesting to me if I were home, but I have no way to get home. So then across the street. Um, they had all workout stuff. I'm trying to think of the brand. Uh, it's, not, it's escaping me at the moment. It has swell bottles and all workout clothes. And um, I have enough of that. So I didn't um, buy any of that either. So now I'm headed over to Ansel's Bakery. Um, I hope I'm still going the right way because I'm talking to you and I don't have the GPS going. But wish me luck. I'll show you what I get when I get there. All right. So I'm back lit. So this is going to look a little funny. Um, I'm back in the office as you can see I got my luggage got my things I wanted to walk you through what I got into now I'm forgetting what all I did so what did we talk about we talked about the 260 sample sale and I decided to go to the Ansel's bakery <sighs> I walked two and a half miles to get to Ansel's bakery it was pretty cool so it's like it's always fun to see like a place that you always see on TV and see what it's really like in person. So it was a really, really small bakery. Line was really long. The pastries look phenomenal. Insta worthy for sure. Um, I came there specifically for one thing, which was the the world famous cronut. So I wait, I wait, I wait. I get in line. I'm seeing all these people coming out with all these cool pastries. One was like a cookie shot. It's a, it's a cookie that's made like a cup and then they pour like this nice cold crispy milk in there. Crispy. Just cool. Cold. Fresh. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I saw that. I was like, mm, that looks pretty good. So um, I wasn't going to get both the Krona and the cookie shot. But when I got up to ask for what I wanted, they were like, we were out of Cronuts. So they made the decision for me. I got a cookie shot and then I got a macaroon, which I haven't eaten yet. Um, I have it, I think, somewhere stuffed in my bag. It's all crushed now, but I'm still going to eat it. Um, eat it on the plane. So I did all of that just for them not to even have what I wanted. Um, it was a really nice walk over. Um, I saw um, I walked through NYU's campus, you know, the little arc, the Arc de Triomphe. I don't even know what it's called. But it's the arc in the park or whatever um, walk there. It was very lively and vibrant. Um, lots of shops and stuff along the way. I stopped at this one vendor that had a bunch of things that were like, oh, actually, I can just show it to you. It had a, like a lot of like beautiful print things like scarves and dresses and skirts and tops and like infinity pieces, like infinity dresses, infinity tops, infinity scarves, those type of things. So I went and got this skirt. This fabric is gorgeous to me. I love how bright that looks. So then that was $12 and I wanted to pick up another one just so I didn't miss the moment, which is super, super cute. 
then I was leaving and the guy was like, hey, this dress would look great on you. I'll give it to you for $15 because the dress is $20. And I had used all my cash. I had $12 left. I was like, oh, I got $12. So he gave me the dress for $12. And it's, a, it's a, you could tie this around your, it could be a tube top or you can tie this around the neck for more support. But gorgeous. I love this color, right? And this print, so cute. Um, he, he told me, he was like, yeah, I don't mind um, discounting it because summer is um, almost over. So I got to get rid of it anyway. So I got that. Um, the other shopping, like I said, the, the shopping beforehand, which you saw was a bust. Um, but I did go into, where did I go? Levi's. Um, got a couple things there. Um, I got these. Felix the Cat socks. You know, I love two socks, but it has the Felix on it. So I got them as green, purple, and maroon. And then I got this um, New York t-shirt, but you know why I got it. It has the rainbow in New York, all of that. So I thought that was really cute. Again, they were having a sale, so um, I figured why not. Then I went to, you know, I told you I went to Macy's. I picked up these rock stud sandals. These are, I think, Steve Madden. Yeah, these Steve Madden rock stud sandals, which I can't seem to get apart. And these were $15. So um, I thought that was really cute. Of course, you know, summer is over, but I buy things off season so I can get a good deal. We talked about that before. That's like the probably number one way to get things at a uh, bargain price is to buy it off season. Because it's always, it's not like it goes bad. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, expire. It doesn't rot. <laughs> you just get it and you, you know, that's, anyway. So, um, I'm trying to think what else I saw. I know I was accosted by uh, varying smells of urine and marijuana for sure. And throughout my whole walk, um, I ended up going through Union Square, which was pretty interesting. They had like, um. Same as the Arc de Triomphe area, they had like shops and stuff out there, but um, they also had like a farmer's market going on. It seemed like it was an all day thing. Um, I saw like a display of, I'm not sure what the relevance of the three heads were, but it was um, George Floyd, John Lewis, and Breonna Taylor. The three together really don't have anything in common, but... I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, you got to tell me what the similarity between all three, besides them being black. Tell me what the sim semblance was. Um, so that was pretty cool to see. Um, I did a ton of walking. I think all to not a ton, but all together was like five miles, a five mile experience to go back and forth. Um, on my way, I did pop into a place, a Sullivan Street Tea and Spice Company. It was a really, really cute little shop with tea and spice and stuff everywhere. Um, and this is the tea, you know, I had to pick up my masala chai. Um, I think that's all that I picked up. There were tons of things that I saw along the way and I took little footage here and there. And right now it's escaping me what everything was, but what I'll do is take a pause so that you can see everything and I'll just pop it in. So, um, that brings us to the end of part three of the New York trip. And I am not going to make a part four, even though I could, because there was so much, so much, so much. What I'm going to do is at the end of this, do a montage of all the cool pictures that I took. Um, cause I didn't do it at the end of part one and part two. So I'm just going to put them all here and, uh, hopefully you enjoy that. Um, I enjoyed this trip, but I'm tired. I'm so ready to get home now. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share it with your friends. Give me some feedback in the description below. Do you like these types of videos where I take you along on my trips? Talk to you soon. Bye.